One Arizona mother considers taking her battle to keep her frozen embryos to the Supreme Court. One America's Mercy Gonzalez breaks down that dispute. Knowing that there's going to be a child out there that's mine is the part that hurts the most. After overcoming a battle with cancer, an Arizona woman enters a new battle to reclaim possession of her frozen embryos. Last week, an Arizona Supreme Court ruled Ruby Torres must donate her embryos in the wake of her 2017 divorce from John Terrell, who hasn't given her permission to use them. The couple froze her embryos after Torres was diagnosed with cancer in 2014 and signed a contract stating consent from the other spouse would be required to use the fertilized eggs in the event of a divorce. Since consent has not been given by Terrell, the court ruled the embryos must be donated per conditions of the contract. Contract. To me, they've kind of left me no option and left me, basically have told me that I can't have a child and I never will. Still, Terrell's attorney argues it would be Terrell's son as well and said he shouldn't be forced into fatherhood. She signed a contract uh, and now she wants to, wants to change her mind, but contracts matter. However, Torres' defense team has claimed Terrell would not be held financially responsible for the child, as she plans to remarry and have her new husband adopt the child. In 2018, the case even prompted a new Arizona law, which gives a former spouse the ability to use a fertilized egg regardless of what their former partner says, and it doesn't hold the opposing spouse responsible for the child. Although this would solve Torres' problems, the law is not retroactive and cannot be used in her case. Between our relationship and how it ended, Part of it is he's angry, and this was the only thing he had left to control me with. Due to medical reasons, Torres has to undergo a hysterectomy by the end of the year, eliminating the chance for her to have a biological child if the ruling is not overturned. Now, Torres has the option to file a motion with the Arizona Supreme Court to reconsider the ruling or take the case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court within two weeks. He can go on and have children. I can't. I'm done. I wish he would have given me the opportunity that he still has. That's all I was asking for, just the opportunity. Marissa Gonzalez, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.